With the holidays coming up here, I thought we'd just talk about something that might make a good gift if you guys are looking for something to get someone. One of the things that I like to give people is knives, and maybe that sounds weird, but uh, I think they're practical. I use mine in everyday life, whether it's at work or at home. A lot of the times, knives aren't super expensive, so if you guys want to receive or give away something that's a nice practical gift, I think knives are not a bad way to do it. So we'll start off with spring-assisted knives, move on to folding knives, and then fixed blade knives at the very end. There's also going to be links in the description below to where you can find these knives. I'll also have time codes next to them so you can easily find wherever you are in the video. You'll be able to find the corresponding link in the description. Starting off, we have an Elk Ridge spring-assisted knife. Now this knife and the knife I'm about to show you are both spring-assisted, so they don't fall under the, like, the switchblade clause, so they're not illegal where I live. The only thing you have to worry about is, at least in Washington State where I live, that they're under 4 inches, and this one's like 3.75, so it's totally okay. But if you are concerned about that, I would suggest reading up on the knife laws in your area just so you don't accidentally like ship a knife to you, if that's possible, that is illegal for your area. Moving on to more about this knife though, as I mentioned, 3.75 inches for the blade, and I think it's 4.75 inches when it's closed. If you want to close it, there's this little tab here, you just push off to the left, and then just be careful, but you can fold it back up. It also has a little belt clip here, which is nice if you want to stuff it into a pocket, or just have it hang off the side of your belt. Something I may not have clearly shown at the beginning is to use the spring assist, you just want to push this little nub back and it'll open up. Alternatively, you can absolutely just open the knife like a normal folding knife as well. It'll lock into place and it's not going to come back up on you. And this one's pretty sharp out of the box. I was pretty impressed with it for, I think it's nine bucks on Amazon. Pretty good knife and I really like the look of it. So that's going to be knife number one. Let's move on to the next one. Next up we have this X-Bay spring assisted knife and it's kind of got that chrome blade and pearl handle. Kind of like the Godfather knife, at least it's what it's supposed to be modeled after. Similar locking and opening mechanism to the other, you just push this off to the left and you can pull the blade back to close it. On this one you still have the same release lever, it's just kind of hidden behind this little accent part and you can just flick that and it'll open up. I don't remember this one being like razor sharp when I got it, but for 9 or 10 bucks it's not too bad and I could sharpen it myself to make it a little bit finer. This one's also got a little belt clip on it, which is nice, and it also has a blade length of about 3.75 inches, so for where I live that's alright. And once it's folded down like this, it's just under 5 inches. For my everyday carry, this is a Coast Rapid Response Blade, it's a spring assisted knife as well. This one runs about 40 bucks on Amazon, so a little bit more expensive than the others I've shown so far, and it's a 3.9 inch blade length, so it's just under that 4 inch rule. This one's a little bit different from the other two I've shown you, where there's no nub on the back, you just kind of push out with your thumb on the left hand side. Again, to fold this close, you just want to move the locking lever over to the left and fold the knife back. And this knife even has a safety on it, it's got a little switch here, if you push it up, you see that lock icon, the knife isn't going to come undone. But if you push the switch back down, you see that little red dot, it's going to be good to flick open. I like this one a lot, it's my everyday carry for a reason, it's razor sharp out of the box, and I think my uncle got it from a thrift store, and so that was awesome, so he got it for pretty cheap, but he gave it to me for, I think, a birthday or a Christmas gift. It's also got these serrated edges, which is nice for like cutting through rope and stuff. This overall has just been great to have around home and at work. Also has a belt loop like the others, which is very handy to be able to access it pretty quickly. It's also probably kind of hard to see, but this is the RX322 model, and I'll be sure to put that in the description as well. You'll be able to find it down below. Let's move on to some folding knives. This is a Victorinox Swiss Army knife, specifically the Spartan pocket knife. This is one of my everyday carry knives just because it's got a lot of tools on it. It's got a leather punch and a wine bottle opener, which admittedly I use those very little. But it's also got two flathead screwdrivers, one small, one large. It's got a can opener, bottle opener, and then two knives, one long, one short. This one's a little bit more expensive, it's about 25 bucks for the one I found online. Overall great all-in-one tool and the knife blade itself is only about two and a half inches long. This is a Buck 112 Ranger folding knife and it locks back. This one's not a spring assisted knife, it's just a standard folding knife. I actually got this as a gift from my dad when I was little and he got it from his parents, my grandparents, when he was a teenager and I think they got it from REI. I really like the look and feel of this knife, it's just one of those classics. This one's got a blade length of about 2.75 inches and you can find them for about 40 bucks online. Again, I'll link you in the description. The one that I've got comes with a little leather carrying case, it's got the buck logo on it, and then it's got a belt loop. I'll try to find you guys a package that has both of these things included. Now for something a little bit different, and I have to be completely honest, I have no expertise when it comes to throwing knives, but at one point I bought these because they were kind of cheap. Now these are Perfect Point RC179 series throwing knives. You can usually get them on Amazon for like 10 to 15 bucks, and I'm not good with them, but I wanted to practice at one point, so I got these. And even though I'm not great with them, I'm not going to lie, they're really fun to use. Just be safe if you use them for that purpose, otherwise they do make kind of nice fixed blade knives. I think more so intended for just throwing because they're balanced to the hilt as well as, you know, for a fixed blade knife, they're not very comfortable to hold. But just something to consider, and they also come with this neat little carrying case that you can attach to a belt, so if you guys want to go throw these at a tree or something, be careful, but you can take this out with you. Also, last thing, if anyone wants to know for the blade length, it's just under 4 inches, it's about like 3.8, so it fits under that law as well. Now we're getting into a little bit more expensive territory, this is a Cold Steel SRK, Survival Rescue Knife. I bought this when I went backpacking for the first time, and it served me really well on that trip. 
Besides that, I've used it for camping and just general work in my woods. This one generally runs about 70 bucks on Amazon, and sometimes you can find it on sale for a little over 40. Blade length on this is six inches though, so I never open carry or even carry it on my person in public, God no. But I'll keep it with me if I'm just working in my woods on my property or if I'm out backpacking, like I said, or camping. In addition to the six inch blade length, it's about 10 and three quarters inch long with the handle included. Now I found out about this knife from the YouTuber Survival Lily and it's just a great all around knife. I love the review she did for it and it seems to take a beating. And it also comes razor sharp out of the box, so I'd highly recommend it. It comes with this nice sheath. One, it's sturdy and it holds into place so it's not gonna like come loose on you, but uh, there's also these holes here that you can use to attach this to a backpack. And there's also a belt loop on the back that has Velcro and a button and another button fastener right here. But yeah, overall, I'd really recommend this to anyone who's looking for an SRK. It's a great knife. Might be a little bit more on the expensive side for knives in general, but I think overall for this type of knife, it's a great deal. So for the last fixed blade knife in this video, as well as the last for the video in general, is this Tecna Ocean Edge Dive Knife. Also, the most expensive knife I seem to have in my collection runs around 180 bucks, and it was a little bit harder to find online. I think the story behind this was my dad had it when he was in Eagle Scouts when he was younger, and he gave it to me as a gift. I remember just absolutely loving the look of this knife for as long as I can remember. It's got blades on both sides, as well as serrated edges. Kind of looks like a throwing knife, even though it's not balanced with the blade and held. If I let go, it's just going to fall, so it's not great there. But it's just a cool looking knife and then it's got this nice carrying case for it. It's got like a little clip for a belt loop. Since it is a dive knife, this carrying case can also have this little metal clip removed and then you can put a belt through each of these and strap to your leg. This one's also made of stain and corrosion resistant 420 grade stainless steel. All that being said, it is on the steeper side again for knives that I've shown in this video. This one's like 180 bucks that I'll link in the description. So maybe not for everybody, but definitely a cool knife. I love it a lot. And I almost forgot again, but the blade length on this one is about 3.75 inches, and then the blade overall is about 7.5 to 8 inches, somewhere in there. That is about it for my little collection, though. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys, again, want to learn more about any of these knives, I'll have links in the description down below. I'm in no way sponsored by any of the people who make any of these knives. This is just my personal collection and knives that I like. Personally, my favorites to give as gifts are these spring-assisted ones, and these ones are just kind of fun fidget toys. Maybe not the safest, but I love playing around with them. And for some of these, like, you know, 10 bucks, 20 bucks, I think they make great gifts. And I'd also like to say that I'm not trying to encourage anyone to buy these knives. I just want to put the information out there that I enjoy having these. If you guys want to learn more about them or have one for yourself, I'll have the resources down below. But I thought this would just be kind of a fun video to make with the holidays coming up if anyone is looking for gift ideas or something that they want to put on their list. Anyways, I think that is going to be about it for today's video. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video.